Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, oh wait, I guess I was wrong, the bell doesn't stay clean. Uh, in the last episode, we finished up Pino Park, if that's really what it's called. We cleaned that bell, though it's dirty again, and I think I might have finally figured out. Is this where, I okay. In the last episode, I, I, you know, I got the rocket nozzle, so I was trying to get the shine sprites you can get using the rocket nozzle, and uh, one of which is right over here. Uh, but I didn't get it, because I couldn't find the freaking sewer pipe that takes me over to it. And I'm sure there's going to be comments that are super mean and make fun of me about how dumb I am and how how could you miss this? So obvious. Unsubscribe. But it's okay, you weren't subscribed in the first place. Or maybe you were, I don't know. <laughs> but whatever, people make mistakes, okay? So, we're going to do this first, and then we'll start off a new level. Damn it. Come on, get it. There we go. So, we got to clean this bell again. You know, in case you miss it the first time, it's really boring. Because it doesn't progressively get clean. It just kind of continues. Just kind of disappears slowly. Like, is it even working? Okay. And it makes you feel like it's not even doing anything. That's, that's the main takeaway I get from this every time. Because it's just, it's weird. It's like not progressive. It takes forever. And I don't know why. One of the worst things in the game. If I move around a bit, it'll make it go a little quicker. Mm. Give it, get it around the rim. We call it rim job. Clean that rim. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty clean to me. Looks like there's a little speck. Speck of grime. I don't know if it cares if you aim at it or not. I think it just kind of automatically gets clean. Oh my goodness, what the hell? I am like, I don't know what else to do. Maybe it's because I'm spraying on the outside of it. Oh no! Uh, I gotta get a refill of water. Jesus. I was so close. Good thing I just wasted all that time. I didn't say anything either. Good commentary, Jake. Good commentary. Uh, so let's get back over here. I mean, come on. It was right here. How did I miss it? Yay. Good job, everyone. We did it. Hugs all around. So now we can go and uh, start that new level, since we haven't, <laughs> since we haven't gone there yet. Um, I, I kind of, it's a little annoying to play the game this way. I mean, I'm gonna keep doing it because it, it allows me to stay focused on finishing levels. But it really sucks just to play through one level over and over and over again. It kind of makes it boring. There we go. Noki Bay. Uncork the waterfall. So I kind of like this level, but I kind of don't. It's got, like, half of it's all underwater. The other half is all above water. The water is poisoned, though, at the beginning of the level. And we need to clean it. That guy will just basically tell us, Oh, the water, it's ruined. If you uncork the waterfall, it should fix everything. Or something like that. So this level's cool because you kind of just climb. It's also got a good song. And uh, I like these little, like, pulley systems. To, like, fill the Voss with water. Even though there's a big crack in it. And then you can also do that. So there's like a bunch of like cool cause and effect stuff in this level. That's one of the reasons I really like it. And the music is good too. The music reminds me of like Mario or uh, Paper Mario a lot. That's one thing too about this game that I don't think I ever really realized until now too. Is the music isn't as good as I remember. Like the music is fine. But I definitely think there is way better Mario music. A lot of which comes from Mario Sunshine. I think I'm supposed to spray this? No? That was a good double jump. Okay, not supposed to do that, I guess. 
Um, but yeah, I think this game's got some of the more, the, the weaker music in the series, or the franchise, I guess, more specifically. Not to say it's bad, it's just I think some of it is better in other games. Oh, God. And that's just my opinion. I'm sure there's plenty of people who love the Mario Sunshine music, and that's totally fine. It's good, just like all Nintendo music. Not all. A lot of. Oh, my God. Just let me jump. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Uh, I'm going to run out of water, too, is the other problem. Actually, no, I'm not. There's water right there. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I mentioned in the last episode that I've been playing a lot of Mario 3D Land, and it's funny because, you know, playing Mario 3D Land, you get so used to looking for, like, the star coins. I don't even have to worry about that anymore, which is weird. I forgot how to throw these. Oh my god, stop jumping on the bombs. Stop jumping on the bombs. Oh my god. I was just jumping on explosions. There we go. Yeah, we gotta defeat this dude. Oh my god. Just walk up. Okay. I think this is cool. You know, it's pretty casual. Just walk up, take him out. You know, they assume you've beaten this guy before. Sorry, buddy. And then uh, that removes the big giant cork. Some nice Mario silliness. And that's the thing, too, is there's not a lot of, like, silliness to this game either and I guess you know there isn't any silliness really in Mario 64 either but I get so used to like Paper Mario and that's why I like the RPG games the most like, like Paper Mario and um, Super Mario RPG Mario and Luigi like you really get a feel for like the characters personalities and stuff like that but then these Mario like these 3d Mario games even like the best even like Mario Galaxy like there isn't much quirk to them you know they're so straightforward which is fine it's okay. I'm not complaining. But I will always prefer the Mario RPG games over, like, the platforming Mario games. And that's why I still haven't done, like, a... I didn't read what the mission was called. That's why I still haven't done, like, a top ten Mario game video. Because I, I feel like people will get so mad at me if I, uh... Make a video. I think I have to go talk to that guy. I mean, I know that's what I need to do. Uh, but people will get probably people will probably get really annoyed with me if I just sit here and say, "Oh well, my favorite Mario games aren't even like actual Mario games, quote unquote." Just like if I were to make a top ten Sonic games, which I don't really like Sonic games, the ones I'd add to the list are like the furthest thing from what Sonic is actually about. Excellent way to go, Master Mario. You have returned to our waterfall to normal. What's that? The ocean's still dirty. Strange. Looks like my theory was way off. <laughs> Hack. That's okay. I think I've got a lead on the real cause. Now, this may not seem like much of a reward, but I'm going to reveal to you one of Noki Bay's deepest secrets. Literally. Because it's deep under the water. What's that? This bay actually contains the tomb of an ancient Noki king. When you spray water on the wall paintings, a path usually opens. It's almost like magic, and one path leads to a hidden shine sprite. Honest, this all uh, this is all true, maybe. Okay, so there was one up there. Whoa! This is one of the reasons that I really like this level too. I think like the secret ruin stuff is pretty neat, and it makes for good platforming. Oh no! And I'm pretty sure we're timed. Dang it! Camera. Work with me. Not against me. Oh, but yeah, I've always wanted to do like a top 10 Mario list video because I did a Zelda list video, which I really want to redo that because I didn't think it was very well done. What the hell? I don't really know where the game wants me to go. Let's go here. Yeah, I don't remember this mission too well. Oh, there we go. Um. But yeah, I feel, because I, I mean, I, I love, like, the, the the old platforming Mario games, too. It's just I really do prefer, like, the RPG games, like, 100%. I think I'm going the right way. I honestly don't remember. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, 
those two. Oh, hey. I should probably be a little more conservative of my water. That was almost a bad idea, but I'm okay. Uh, but yeah, I always prefer the RPG titles. Like, they, they're funny and they have more pers they, they, there's just more to them. Um, you know, I don't like all, you know, it's not like a, oh, am I stuck in here now? Weird. I mean, not weird, I don't know what I expected. Um, I don't know what to do. Did I just, like, start this over now? Hmm, that kind of blows. Oh gosh. Water. I don't remember this mission like at all. Like I don't I mean I remember doing it. I don't remember like the solution or anything like that. Wait, should I Oh Wait, this just takes me back to over here. Doesn't really help me. Wait, oh wait, no, this is different. I don't remember, maybe when I've completed this mission in the past, maybe I like luck out and just do it right pretty quick. Whoa, that was cool. Are they all affected by water, or just that one? I'm, I don't understand, but I'm perplexed. Are these all different? Is there some reason to like, are they just, oh, there's a blue coin down there. A lot of blue coins on this mission. Okay. Oh. Alright then. <laughs> that wasn't at all what I wanted. That's what I got. No. What did I just spray? I'm like spraying stuff without even trying at this point. Is there a blue coin down here? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Slow down. This is a weird mission. What the hell? See now, like, what's up with this? Like, there's this... Oh, can I, like... I don't know. Oh. No! Jeez. I don't feel like I'm making any progress to get towards getting the, the right one. No, this isn't where I want to go either, is it? This just takes me to... Okay, this takes me to this, which launches me up in the air, which is really cool still. Because it just doesn't make any sense to me. Now we want to probably try... to get to another one. Hmm. Go over here. Another blue coin. What do you know? It's funny. I can't believe how many blue coins there are in this. It's a little ridiculous. Oh, that's it. Okay. This is. I, I like the idea. Like these all feel like they're like catacombs. You know, just kind of a dark thing for a Mario game. Um, hey, look at that. And maybe, like, you know, honestly, there's a good chance that everything I've been doing isn't even necessary to completing this level. Like, maybe all that stuff is just to get blue coins. I don't know. Because I haven't even gone over here yet. 
Have I? No, I haven't. Have I? Another blue coin. My god. Shit. I'm trying to jump out. But I can't. There we go. Got it. Yay. Oh no. But at what cost? I can't see where I'm going. But I'm gonna assume this is the right way. Oh, it's another blooper. How exciting. Again, like I said, the bosses of these games are so disappointing. No. I'm gonna do this my way. Damn it. See, you can still do it the same way I did it before. Like, you don't even need to mess up his tentacles. And honestly, like, this fight's almost easier just because of the where you're fighting him. Don't worry, Flood, I got it. I've, I've fought this gentleman before, or lady. I'm not sure what the gender is of the blooper. But I've, you know, got it handled. Don't worry. Woo. See, what if the game had you fight, like, some big skeleton lord, you know? Because it's the, the king of Noki, so you're fighting, like, the knight that's protecting him. But no, that's okay. And don't be like, well, that, that doesn't make sense in Mario. Because, like, in Mario 64, you fight some pretty cool bosses. Plus, who cares if it makes sense? It's fucking Mario. Um, but yeah, they have you fight a blooper for the third time. And it's no different. Like, it's the same exact fight. You could use the exact same techniques to beat it. That's what she said. Alright, enough complaining. Let's go back. Okay, red coins in a bottle. So this is a bottle level. Which I think was what I was just saying was meant to be a reference. I mean, I know it was a reference to, like, bottle episodes, which is a term used in television when it's episodes that really have nothing to do with the canon of the show. So this one's cool, though, because we get Scoob Suit. And this game actually handles underwater levels pretty interestingly. Which is good, because the whole, you know, game is based on an island, so you'd hope so. And we get this cool music again. This music's not even necessarily good, though. I just, I like it. It's nice and calm. Uh, but this, <laughs> I always think it's funny in Mario games when they just have, like, real-ass-looking animals. So you just have, like, these fish. It's normal-looking fish. Also, I don't know what the point of him giving us the scuba helmet was. If we run out of oxygen anyway. Oh, uh, get away! Yeah, oh, the, oh, you know, the problem I have with this level, though, I actually remember what I don't like about this now. Um, you can't swim. Like, you don't swim, you just kind of jet around, which is a cool idea, but it doesn't work as well as I'd like. I'm starting to get used to it. Though. What the fuck? What was that? That was weird. I was like going right up to the coin and all of a sudden I blasted up into the sky. Oh, is there like a jet stream there? Okay. I don't think I realized that. But you know, it's a cool idea, I guess, to like give an underwater level where you can just kind of speed around. I'd love to see a speedrunner do this level. Unless when they do it, they just like break the game, then I, then I have no interest in seeing it. So I only need two more. Oh my goodness. We are just rolling around at the speed of sound over here. And then you can use the other nozzle to like slow yourself down, it seems. That's what I used for anyway. But there we go. That's it. Pretty simple. And it's basically just like the the secret underwater level in 60, Mario 64 anyway, so. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end the episode now. Uh, keep it at 20 minutes. And like, we've, we haven't done that much in Noki Bay. 
but I don't even know what the next mission is. So I'm going to end it now, try to keep these episodes a little bit shorter. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to get updates on future videos and if you enjoyed this one. Be sure to like the video. It does help out an awful lot and it lets me know that you're enjoying the series. Be sure to comment below about the game, my commentary, or any other thoughts you're having. If you have a little discussion, I always read the comments. Um, so don't feel like they go unread. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, and follow me on Twitter, at RedPandaGamer. Pictures of my cat. But thanks for watching, guys. See you all next time. Bye.